What's up? And welcome back. I'm Clark Can, the Man of Steel. Today, I'm going to show you a powerful dent pulling technique, a three-step method. Leave a comment down below if my how-to videos have been helping you. If you're a new subscriber, put in the comment that you're a new subscriber and I will personally respond. Now, it's time to show you the damage. <laughs> Looking at a Subaru Forester, the dent affects the entire fender. Most beginners would begin tooling the damage out with a rod or a flat bar. I'm going to show you the easiest method on the planet how to pull big dents like this. Now it's time to dive deep into this powerful dent pulling technique. Starting on the outside of the panel, my first step of my method, I'm wiping down the panel with alcohol in order to get a strong adhesive grip with the hot glue. I'm using a really hot glue gun and I'm loading up the tab with lots of glue. This is a simple process for you DIY dent removal guys. The glue is dried and ready to go. I'm running my pin through the tab. Now it's time for my second step of my method. I'm attaching my dent puller to the tab. Both puller legs are in place and ready to go. My hook is around the pin and you can see the pulling power action taking place. The pull is made easy. Can you imagine using a flat bar or a rod? You'd be killing yourself. I'm now using a blending hammer on the crown while leaving pressure on the puller. Now I'm putting my second PDR tab once again, I'm hooking my puller to the tab. I'm going to give the drill a few more revolutions. You can see how powerful this method is. Look how nice that fender is lining up. Here's the after and the before. Incredible results from the puller. The video is in fast forward. My third step of my method now I'm going behind the fender with some PDR tools that I purchased online. I will be using two different tips on my rods. One is a nylon tip and the other is a Delrin tip. I will leave the links down below. Normally I would heat the panel so the paint won't crack more. However, the temperature outside is close to 100 degrees. I reduced the big dent to a bunch of little dents. I'm going after the body line low areas first. I will bring up the deeper section higher than the level of the panel. Then I will knock down the high crown area so it's level with the rest of the fender. The body line was stubborn. I had to apply more pressure in order to break down the center of the dent. This panel is requiring lots of manipulation with the PDR tools and hammers. It's beginning to line up nicely. You can see the entire fender was affected. Taking the blending hammer and cold glue to the edges. Using the hammer on dolly on the sharper ding. The customer did not want to replace, repaint, and blend. You can see there is paint damage throughout his vehicle. It did not make sense to paint the fender. Instead he wanted the dent removed only. Here is the finished product. The before and the after.
I want to thank you for watching my video. Would you like to see more powerful dent pulling techniques? Like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification button. And I will see you when I drop my next video. You guys continue forging your future. I'm signing off. Yeah.